All right, so we've got our kind of template laid out here. Let's go ahead and let's populate this table with some data. And if you copied the SQL that I gave you, you should have at least one record in there uh, to test with. So we're going to be doing this inside the table body. So let's give ourselves some room in between T body and uh, table row. And we're going to create a variable. Actually, first let's create some PHP tags. We're going to create a variable called statement, which can be shortened. Statement. And this is another thing you might see written differently. A lot of people do. I've seen SDH or all caps SDH. I don't like the all caps. That's just me. I'm doing statement, STMT, all right? And, and this is what's gonna hold our query. So in our previous videos, this is the uh, query variable or the queue variable, depending on which ver uh, videos you watched. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna access that database object. It's a DBC object. And then we're gonna run the query method, which again is a function within the object. And the query object runs very similar to the MySQLI underscore query minus the having to give it the, uh, the database because that's already part of the object. And here we just need to put in our query. Select all from users. Very simple. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set the fetch mode. Um, we wanna know, we wanna tell the object how to send the data back. And we want an associative array like we we're used to doing with MySQLI. So statement, we're gonna run the set fetch mode. All right, so this method here is going to set the mode within our object. We're gonna want PDO colon colon fetch underscore associ. All right, so that's similar to our while, um, or our MySQLI underscore fetch underscore associ. Same deal here, we're setting the mode first. Now we're gonna go ahead and run our while. All right, so our, our next step is the while, which is gonna be kind of similar to what we're used to, only we're going to be running another method inside of our uh, our statement here, we're gonna run while and data or row or however you wanna call it, equals statement fetch. And that's gonna go ahead and do the same thing as our while data equals mysqli underscore fetch associ, um, what, we, what we used to do. Only this doesn't need any parameters, it's already got the query set within it. So we're good to go. We just need to put in our curly bracket, delete that last one, come down here and close that. Save that. Now we haven't gotten any data yet or done anything with it, but uh, just like we're used to in the past, all we need to do is reference that data equals for echo so data and pull out the key ID. So we can go ahead and grab this and copy this. Paste it a few times, change these out to the correct key. First, last website. Save that. Now let's hop over to our page, refresh. There you go. Now mine's got two records in it. Yours should only have one unless you added one. This has two because I'm using the same database I used in the uh, final product.